I'm out here today at Swiss Valley. Uh, just got done going to the Hawkeye Fly Fishing Association show in Dubuque and thought I'd come out try a little fishing. There's uh, still a lot of snow on all the hills. A lot of people out here today walking their dogs. Um, but I'm going to try a little fly fishing. I was right here, so I thought, why not? Um, stream looks like it's up a little bit from the snow melt. So probably try some nymphs and see what we get. If nothing else, we're going to get a a great walk today. Ooh, a nice rainbow here. Oh, 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 he's going to try and get me under that. He's going to try and get me under that snag. Get down here and oh, oh, oh. Take control of him. Oh, he's good size. Woo! Look at this guy. Oh, long distance release. Oh, man. At least I got him on film. That was a nice one. I got him right here by this log. Oh, I wish I could have landed him. Whew. Quite a fight. Oh, well. That's what they call it fishing, not catching, I guess. Get back after him. Well, hooked into another one over there, a big hit, but was not able to land it. So, two fought, zero landed. Running out of time and daylight here. Gonna go upstream a little bit more, see what I can find. It's never easy to fish these real high cut banks. Oh, oh man, I had a, I believe I had one on. If I do hook one, I have no idea how I'm going to land it. I guess I'm just hope, going to hope I can lift them up and my tippet will hold. If anybody has any tips on fishing these high banks in Iowa streams, leave them in the comments. Pretty cool. Looks like we got a new suspension bridge here at the fishing access. Very, very nicely built. <laughs> it looks like fun. Devastation that flooding is done. There's kind of a horseshoe bend here, and it looks like at some point it just overran this started to cut a new channel through right here eventually that's probably just going to be kind of an oxbow up there incredible what flooding does to these streams Oof. well i determined what happened with the rainbow i lost and the other one i thought i hooked and lost the uh the first one actually bent the hook out so that's that's why he got off um pretty big fish i don't, can't say i've had that happen a whole lot in a trout stream um, but I think Swiss Valley is really cool actually it's been several years since I've been here and I'd kind of written it off I didn't think it was that great last time I was here I was wrong about that they've also done some improvements that are really cool I'm just seeing a lot of bank improvements and things I mean it, it sucks about the flood damage it's kind of every stream in Iowa right now is a big topic today at the Hawkeye fly fishing meeting, um, but there's a lot of good things out here too. Uh, I think this is a place that I would come out and spend a whole day at and plan to do that not too far in the future. Um, there's also a creek upstream called Monastery Creek that is a put and grow that runs in and I reviewed that several years ago. Also thought that was really cool. So given enough time to explore, I think there's a lot that could be done out here. So, I don't know, I'm going to fish this last hole, and then I think I'm going to start my walk back. It's a beautiful day. It's always a great day for trout fishing in Iowa. Well, I came back here to the spot where I hooked and lost that big rainbow, and threw the pink squirrel back in, and immediately the big rainbow slammed it again. And I fought him for a minute, and I, I lost him again. It's one of the perils of using barbless hooks, but, you know, you got to do it. It's the ethical thing to do. Um, I couldn't really let him run because he'd wrap me right around that log and had to keep the pressure on and he got off. Obviously that fish is the master of his spot, uh, maybe as it should be. So, always got to get in one more cast when you can. Glad I came back down here to this spot. Uh, really glad I came to Swiss Valley. This place is really cool. There are a lot of people out here today with their dogs but there's plenty of room for everybody um, it's kind of muddy but wore my mud boots that worked out good uh, this is definitely a spot that's worth some more time 
And this is just the upper side. There's a whole lower side as well that I haven't been to in a very long time. So we'll uh, we'll check that out later this spring when I get some more, get some time off. All right. Well, trout fishing in Iowa. Had a good day. Hooked some trout. Went to a fly fishing show that was pretty awesome. And uh, just all around a great day. 50 plus degree weather in early March. Can't really beat it. All right, guys. See you next time.